does this look like if I cover this? It looks like. Doesn't this look like a rectilinear figure? Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's very important when we have those rectilinear figures, it's very important that we understand what those measurements and those side lengths are. Got it, got it. This is a rectangle. And what do we know about rectangles though? What? They have parallel sides, it's the same, right? So it doesn't matter, multiplication is how you solve to find the area. Because if it's eight feet on the left, then it's eight feet on a right. How will you break this apart? Because remember, depending on how you break it apart, it depends on your length and your width of what you're using and what you're not using. How would you break it apart? Um, it's either that way or this way too. So there's two ways you can Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I have some tickets here, right? We'll break it apart. Show me. What would you do on your paper? Let's go. How would you find the area of this rectilinear figure? Show me your measurements with two. Y'all good over here? I can, y'all need to see it or y'all good? Yeah. Okay. How did you get 10? From where to where? Where do I start to show 10? From here to what? Where's 10? To here. So before you do this, you have to break this apart. Where would you break this apart? It's right here. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna label this A, and I'm gonna label this what? B, yeah. so you can see, All right? Now, what is your measurements from here to here? What is your length? Seven feet. By what? Two feet. Right, can I show you a trick? Give me a hand. Even when on the computer, can you see that, that rectangle? Can you see this rectangle when you cover that? So can you see your measurements? All right, now you good? Go ahead, write your equation, fix it. What is eight times five? Eight times five, 40. Give me 40 jumping jacks, let's go. One, two, Wake three, up. four, uh -huh. five, huh? six, huh? seven, seven, eight, seven, nine, one, four, three. Ooh, no, 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 airs up top, hands up. Oh, Are you woke? Yeah. All right, shake it off, shake it off. Who else do I have? I have a bias. I have Sky. I have Nevaeh. Yeah. To show how you can find the value of five times five, using the facts five times two and five times three. How would you show five times three, five times two? How many rows do you have here? I have one, two, three, four, five. This match what you have here. So what's on the left? That's right, right? Our rows are not gonna change, right? but it says five times five, right? So that means five rows of five. So what should your columns have? Five. Five. Now, break it apart. Show me five times two, five times three. How many rows do I need? Five. Y'all gonna count it for me? Yes. Y'all gonna count it for me? Yes. How many objects go in each row? Five. All right, so I'm gonna do the first row. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm done. Do I have it? Yes. Do I have five rows of five? Yes. So my, my, my array represents this equation. Do I have it? Yes. Huh? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. I'm done. No. Pack up your stuff. Let's go. Huh? Huh? Oh, box it? I got you. I got you. I need to show the facts using what? You got to talk math to me. I'm not going to know. So, Soraya said I need to box five times two. The facts five times two. What do I need, baby? The line. Parentheses, or you can say grouping symbols. All right, I need grouping symbols. Where? Anywhere? All right, I'm just kidding. No, relax. Objective. You will learn and explain the distributive property of multiplication. You show this property by drawing a ray. Okay, can you count your rows? Let's start there. Let's count our rows, right? Let's count. From left to right, right? Let's go. One, uh -huh. two, uh -huh. three, uh -huh. four, uh -huh. five. Uh -huh. Where did six come from? 
I was just that. You was thinking you kind of like miscalculated? Cal okay, so what should it be, Jeremiah? Five. So we have these two equations, correct? Can y'all show me on y'all paper what expression matches this word? Show me. 30 seconds. I'm going to circle my answer. And y'all gonna show me whether y'all agree or disagree. We cannot multiply to find the area of this entire rectangle. What you're saying is 35 times 40. That means that I will have a whole lot of square feet units here, right? Do you, do you now see what we're saying? So what Amaya was trying to get you to understand is that we cannot multiply. We're adding two areas together to find the total area. See, if you chose A, give yourself two claps. All right, so with your partner that you just worked with, you're going to solve this problem. You have two minutes. Get there. What about the white stone? Those so put it out here, baby. So what's your equation, A, B, C, or D? Good job. <laughs> Look, you say yes. Bop it, bop it. Chance, talk to me. What you and your partner talked about? I need A, B, C, or D. Jeremiah, what do you have for the gray stones? Jeremiah said eight times seven. Show. Show. So. Here is some independent. What's the key word? Independent. What's this key word? Independent. If you stuck on the page, it's on page four. Page four, love up. Now, this is a little different. Show me. It says two. Select two expressions. Two. How about you write the equation? and you label. I think that it would be very beneficial to you if you put A and B in there so you can see the equations. It's supposed to be 10? So what's supposed to be 10? Um, right here. So wait, right here? At the top, it, the 10, cause the 10 came from the six and the four because six plus four is 10. Ooh. Damn. Oh, so if it's 10 units, if it's 10 units down here, then it gotta be 10 units up the top, right? So if you chose letters C and F, give yourself two claps. Two claps. So y'all want to celebrate? We do. Got it, got it. Got it, got it. Got it, got it. Pack it. Thank you, pack it. Oh, man. All right. Good job. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's you want some tickets? How many tickets you want? My baby. Good work today. Way to stay focused. You gave me 30 minutes straight. I love it. Good work. Come on. Bye, baby. Come on. I got my tickets today.